All right, and here we are on the last one, cargo sector, which apparently has lots of crates, unsurprisingly, a lot of barrels, also unsurprising, but much more enticing, and lots of demons. I will say, just starting out, because my expectations might be violated in, in the good way, not many good uses of the word violated, anyway, but having the final, uh, the, the, the climax, the finale, of the uh, the campaign be in the cargo sector seems surprising. In fact, when I first saw the names that had the lists of the uh, uh, the list of the maps, the map names, I couldn't figure out which it was underground tunnels or cargo sector that was the first one. I figured it was probably underground tunnels because it was the first going down. But if he was thinking about it differently, it could have made as much sense. Um, so we will see. And and I say all this because you know, cargo is itself. Not super enticing. It, it's it's why it's like often one of the early levels in a campaign in a video game or something when you're dealing you're in the sh you come in through the shipping area or something. It doesn't typically it's not typically towards the finale, but there's still potential for it to be really cool, and we will see. And again, it doesn't have to end in some big giant you know destroy the evil demon, crush the relic. Uh, save humanity, go into hell and fight on their turf kind of thing, for it to still be, uh, you know, a satisfying campaign, a, a story of, you know, trying to make your way out and escape and kill a bunch of demons on the way. A lot more down to earth, but wrong with that directly. Person. I think would have them just be those. I would have had it just be vault one aiming downwards. But I mean, I guess that makes no sound. Maybe that. Or maybe just preference. I really like Janish. I, I gotta say, I really like your use of windows. Very good to, to make it feel like an actual open facility. You get to preview an area, and they can add a lot of ambiance, ambiance, however you want to say it. Especially, ooh. how did I almost miss that? Not have been your fault. Put a cube right here. Matthew traps. I was escorting one of the survivors to the storage hangar. There's a lift that can lead us to the surface. We we're down in the storag. Uh, some hulking beast attacked us. Ooh. Had no eyes and was huge but disturbingly mobile. While I was shooting the beast, my partner got separated. No eyes, disturbingly mobile. And possibly. Ah! Lost soul. Yes. He's dead, and if he's alone, I managed to escape and trap the beast by locking the vault door. Bastard got, uh, got me, though. Punched me right in the stomach. I feel like every rib is broken. That sucks. I think I'm done. I was leaning over next to some crates and wait for death. Man, you uh, came to terms with that real fast. This has been Security Chief Matthew Traps. Take care of my chain gun. I will. I will name her Bessie. Matilda. I like Matilda better. Almost like a tilde, which you use in things. It's a useful little thing. It means negation in formal logic. Ask. Disappointing. <laughs> um, ooh. Okay. Nice. Um, surprising. Make good use of this, Mr. Traps. I got him. Whoa, wait. Where did I get this from? When did I get this? 
Why do I have this? Yeah. Oh, I mean, sure. Why not? You know what? And why not again? Ooh. That is a good combination. Not just using that door and having two of them, not just the one, so it's more clearly... Get it. Sorry, I'm starting to get a little bit tired at this point. I hope it's not too noticeable. Um, I don't think I need ammo anymore, so I'm going to get some armor. Bump that up, because I keep hitting the limit on that more than anything else. Now I should have 50. Wait a minute. Is that... Is that deep? Where I came... What do you mean down there? Like they're not much help to me if the gore nests are down there. I have the yellow key. That's not a door. I already checked up here. Oh, I'm dumb. This is uh other doors are open now, I bet. Yeah. Again, but one thing I would do, this 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 is my my big critique so far, and it is relatively minor, is if you want me to backtrack and find stuff, uh, you just need a AQ saying, hey, I've unlocked some of the doors, check back in that other hallway. Things like that would get rid of this, this compute, which is relatively minor. I've wandered way longer um, in more maps. That is definitely what I would, I want that actually, that is definitely what I would do. Okay, go ahead. Squish your little heart, spleen, testicle, whatever it is. Hopefully not that last one. That was close. you come from? Yeah, that actually. Um, here. God, I've got so much of this now. It's such a good gun, though. It's the best. Definitely comparable to, say, the shotgun. It is interesting. Oh. Hey! That's what that was. Okay, I figured it out. So earlier, in a previous map, uh, uh, I had... I got killed by a um, shield guy. And I must have just been lower than I thought I was, or I myself up with this or something but I did I really did not expect to die at all um, I was being a little cocky actually trying to play around with the, the chainsaw and I had that sound effect and I was trying to figure out like did I just get a weird glitch did something physics just spaz out which I've never seen happen before and just insta killed me like what happened and I couldn't recognize the sound but good old Janish has rigged up a um, when you get to below 20 health, I'm guessing, it tells you, hey, you're really low. That's not a thing that most people do. It's not a thing you have to. And it's... <laughs> it's, it's just little details like that that I appreciate. That is the kind of polish that really stands out to me. Polish and attention to what does the player want or need. It was surprising in that one moment because, you know, it's not a normal game. Not expecting it. If. But now I know what happened. Which means that there wasn't a bug. I am just an idiot and let myself get killed by one guardian. 
Ugh. Okay. Igor nests. That's the word. Now I don't. Okay, I've been through this one. This one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. What the hell is this? Love it. Pretty. Oh, you know what I think he did here? I think. I can't tell if that's one or two. Yeah, I think he rigged up the inner circle of this um, trigger volume be overlapping with the texture on that inner tube so that it has that bright red. That's clever. If we don't have full control over the assets, you got to find clever things like that to manipulate to get the effect that you want. Now, there are a few ways of doing what he did, but I appreciate that one. Bam! Uh... I really, um, I'm kind of happy. I, I've played not a gigantic number, uh, but I've, I've played a decent number of snap maps, and I've run into no fewer than six modules in this map that I don't think I've ever actually had a fight in. At least not a long one. And that's cool. I appreciate that. I actually rigged up my PUBG map, not sure how well it works, has this room there. Need to be able to test that one the trick here to make sure the logic works. Bringing up the shrinking map took some compromises, but fun little coding challenge. Need glasses? Ran into the Mr. Magoo of Revenants. I was talking when I picked this up, or maybe I don't know, but I have I have no recollection of getting this plasma gun. Bam! Ooh, I wish I had saved that. Thankfully, because of that upgrade I got. Super satisfying. About to get... Yeah. Man, this guy's put a lot of ammunition around. I actually don't like to do that personally for a few reasons. And there's nothing wrong with it at all. It's not a criticism. Um, in fact, as much as I love Doom, I've got mixed feelings with the classic um, item gauntlet uh, arena kind of things mixed feelings, doesn't it? Because I, I do like a degree of immersion, and it does kind of break that. And there's just little, like, boxes of band-aids and shit just lying around, because, you know, why not? So I, I always find myself having ammunition be next to a dead body, or in large stockpiles. Um, I like to have systems that the player can take advantage of. Um, at least if I'm doing a campaign and not like a Project Marsha kind of survival thing, in which case, you know, whatever. Or I'll have things like, um, minor spoiler here, in third of my horror map, I eventually remove the ammo restriction by giving you, sort of, I give you a ammo fabricator. So over time, you'll start to regenerate magazines. Now, if you shoot too fast or too accurately or too indiscriminately, then you're going to run out of ammo, but with time, 
you're going to be okay. Uh, Got to play it smart. Um, I feel like I, I probably shouldn't be. But, but anyway, like I was saying, with that fabricator, it meant that have a limitation on your ammunition. It's not coming from just places on the ground, which also means you can't deplete it accidentally that way. Either. Um. But you know, like there, there's a balance of if you're not careful. You're in trouble, but you're not boned. And I get to keep that immersion, at least so long as suspend your disbelief to imagine a on-personnel ammunition fabrication. So I just, I think there's nothing here. I think I was just, I think I just, uh, I, I just thought, I came through this door. I came through that, I went through that door, and that's the door I'm going towards. This or nests. There are only two side paths. There must be a door in here. That one. Or in here. I've seen a secret in this map so far. That means he ran out of space, not putting them, got, or I'm just missing. I have a feeling he's probably chuckling to himself because I'm like walking right by one as I say that or something along those lines. Huh? Mm -hmm. So is this... I missed one in. Wait a minute. I think I went. Ah, there it is. There it is. This is a beautiful module. Getting very tired. Upgrade, nice. Static field or Gatling? Um, definitely between those two, static field. Gatling's useful, but I mean, the spin up time is negligent. Not negligent. <laughs> Sorry, I know better. Negligible. Man, that that negligent spin up time doesn't doesn't pay its taxes or pay. <laughs> Funny, people were talking about in like Nightmare and Ultra Nightmare how they never glory killed because it's such a liability. And I think that's actually a missed opportunity. I view them as gotta be careful and smart when you use them, but they are invincibility on demand. Well, half on demand. Use that if you see something locking onto you and or an incoming fireball or something. Mancubus is about to do his undodgeable AoE thing. Stuff like that. I, th I think I was punished for it very, very rarely. I have to admit, if I was doing an Ultra Nightmare run, yeah, I I'd be a lot more hesitant. This is a uh, very good filling of this room. Just good prop placement. It was very natural. There for a second, I got this. There we go. Uh, oh. <laughs> I think my my battle cry just became squibbered. Moment. Not a, a character. 
Nope, that's not true. Because of the memes the kids are doing these days. Well, I just... Wait, am I... Wait, what? Oh, I didn't... It doesn't give me the counter for the gore nest until I've... Gotcha. Find the key card. Found alive as an A live. Oh, wait. Is that here? Oh! Ha! I love it. Love it. Man. There's... This, this really does make me think so much of classic, like, and BZ Doom and stuff like that. Editing, where you're, you're trying to make interesting architecture, architecture, and flesh out a facility that's actually alive and doing stuff. Um... I'm so sorry if I'm walking away from my destination here. Am. Wait, no. Because there's no way he would know that was the last gore nest I was going I'm an idiot, of course, because I had to destroy the Gora Nest to open this, so yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh! Ha! <laughs> that was awesome! Just took some timing to make sure that he would, uh... Oh, a path. Probably a path, too. Oh, there's three of them. Oh, but you know what? I've got the solution to that. I've got several solutions to that. I have several beltfuls of solutions to that, actually. And of course, that's gonna. I will say all also, I've had a few places where I've gotten lost, but never for long. Not often, like one or two times. You gotta let me know that you're changing, opening a door that wasn't open before. In, in my opinion, but generally, I've not gotten lost here. There's, there's very much intentionality in how you're directing the player. Uh, and having some variety and clearly thought... Oh. You've clearly put thought into the pathing the player is going to take. Nice. Similar. That. Oh, I love that. I just realized what that noise is. Door. Kind of grinding and rocking on the hinges. Hi, buddy. Ah. I would have put a, a light on that key, given that it blends in right here. Secret. You know what? I would have done. Oh. I can actually climb up and so There. Let's keep going. the need to glory teleport. Yes. Bam. Wait, can I get it? 
I like that. I really do. And I love the attention to detail and having the sound effect and etc. I can't this way. I'm dumb. This this room is backwards from how I, I have it in a couple of maps of mine, so I was thinking that that was uh gotcha. Find the yellow key card. I have the yellow key card. Now I have to go yep. I was like trying to find your keys while a murderer is coming after you. <laughs> give, give me a second. Just, just give me a moment here. I find it so funny how they just like let you grab their hand. They're just like, what are you doing with that? You going on an adventure? Biggest enemy here right now is just my my memory apparently. Just get distracted. But again, I'm trying to do some commentary and provide some feedback. Oh, go myself. <laughs> Very nice. I like it. Um, so I, I am. You know, I was just saying this map never got use. Never gets use. Ooh, I want that. I love turning this thing into a saw. You know, in Project Marsha, which is a class-based survival that I made, I made an entire class based just around basically always having haste on, and I adjusted the speed, so you're not really that fast. You're not faster than, than normal, but all your guns behave differently. And that's because they didn't give us a fire rate manipulation variable, even though it's clearly in their engine because of haste. Uh, Um, but it was kind of fun, actually, because I did it that way. I accidentally, my first build, had downtime where you didn't have haste. And I left that in on, on purpose because I realized it was an interesting class. It was fun because you got to use your weapons at a pace. Like, they felt, they feel like at least slightly different weapons. They just, they don't feel quite, they don't behave the same. Which is fun. But Not in addition, bad. because Disney. haste runs out every now and then, and then automatically you get it back every so often, it meant that you had this like downtime of being vulnerable, where you were actually slower than normal, and your DPS was average, no longer above average. So it leads to some interesting play where you kind of have to be careful not to be not to be caught your pants down when uh, that goes away. Oh, nice, and this one broke. Very nice. And you had these tumble, like, just, I'm, I'm looking, man. I'm looking at all these little details. Someone's got to appreciate them when we put all this time into it. And I don't expect every single player to, especially not, especially not, sorry. Uh, especially not. And they're just playing for fun. Like this. I wonder. God, you really populated this map. Um, oh, I'm here. Of course, I'm here. A lot of uh, this cargo that feels well placed. The fact that these are askew is actually really good. It looks like a real work area. It doesn't look all polished and all right corners like we might make. Don't say. Uh, look at this, like stuff you walk by and you realize he had to rig up layer, bo bro uh, man. layer blocking volumes to hold, they be these, just these little shelves that you might walk by and not pay any attention to. Just screen here that didn't need to be, just love and care was uh, hud into this. Halo Forge, is that you?
just gonna blink at you until some bad things happen. There we go. Oh wait, I'm supposed to be glory killing Mankey by. I'm an idiot. Why are they infighting right now? No, no, I need him. I want him. Oh. Bam. Oh wait. Sorry, bam. Um. Uh, but, uh. Also, I really appreciate how you're giving me this cool. Oops, I wasted my double jump. You're giving me this cool little tool, and then you're immediately putting me into a place where it's useful. Oh, why'd I do it again? I don't know why I pressed jump there. There was no reason. To... Oh, I need to. Okay, you need to die. Yes! Haha! -ha! Snap points, here I come! By that I mean, please God, give me this stupid freaking. Uh, I want the matte and white and black color so bad! It's not even that I can't live without it, although I'd really love to make some. Um, like sci fi kind of white and orange colored weaponry and stuff. I, I really, really just want that to be a thing that I've got. Like, I just, I don't know why I don't. Uh, it's it's just like the principle now. It's, it's just the principle. They're so basic. Why are they even locked? Seriously, please. If they're like hidden behind some little getting to know the game challenge that I just didn't do, and I could easily have them, then, like, just please somebody tell me. And if I'm really just being, uh, if I've gotten just the big dick from R and Jesus, and that just doesn't sound right to say, then just, you know, I guess that's just the way it is. Actually, I forgot that was there. This is gonna be fun. It's kind of funny. I don't know why I, I mix in melees on the big guys like that. It makes sense in the small ones, but on the big guys, it's almost never enough to cross any sort of meaningful threshold. Not, it's not nearly as much damage as, say, just shooting them again. I think I just like to mix it up and feel like I'm doing some sort of combo. Or maybe it's old Halo reflexes that just refuse to die. Who knows? I don't know. What is this? Giant tuning fork? <laughs> I don't think that joke landed. I, I don't even think it qualifies as a joke. Yes. Masterful play. I get it again? Oh, no, I want to get the... Yeah. <laughs> Clean. Ooh, I hadn't even noticed the windows over here. Very nice. Oh! Ha! Oh, Ho! Oh, I'm at the end. I have made it. I have escaped. I live to doom another day. All right, so Janish, Janish, whichever. Solid campaign, fun. I think it got better as it went even. I, I really appreciate the tricks you pulled. There's a lot of love in there. Um, I hope enough people have played it to experience that. There's a, there's a few small things, places where like, I, I would say you should have told us check the other doors, and then like there would have been zero confusion, or at least if there was, it would be all in the player's fault. God, I'll be embarrassed if it actually was there, and I just rambled over it. But, um, that's minor. I certainly have the same mistakes in a few of my maps, especially before I did a lot of playtesting. 
um, which I did way too much of, and like just good. I, I was saying early on there weren't that many things that wowed me, and I certainly have seen some jaw-dropping things in other places. But as that went on, that began to be like just one. There were more of those things, and there was just enough executed well enough that I, I don't care. Good campaign. I would recommend it. The only downside is you're not going to see much beyond what we saw in this playthrough, probably, unless there's secrets that I missed, and there almost certainly are a few at the end there. Um, it's not like some other maps where it's just slightly different each time. But it was still fun. It was still good. It deserves commendation. Anyway, so thank you very much, everybody, all of you, all one of you, and the author. Uh, who stuck who stuck around? I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope my commentary was entertaining or interesting or insightful or just good background noise, whatever it was. Anyway, you know the usual: like, upvote, whatever. And thank you, and take care. <laughs>